Okay, so I want you to think about a couple things. First of all, before you go to do your power snatch, use each rep as an opportunity to work on the prop, your proper mechanics. So even though this is light for you, and you could probably just bend over and pick it up off the ground just like that, but still use it as an opportunity to pretend like this weighed 400 pounds and get into our proper position. So knuckles down, chest up, knees out, right? Now I'll go, right? So every rep is a practice. Every rep is practice. And so we want to teach our body to do it the right way, even if it's not super heavy, okay? So now when you go over here, so you notice you're come in a little bit like this on the way down. So let's think about a couple things. Driving your knees out, but also think about squeezing the ground as hard as you can with your toes. That will probably keep those um, arches from collapsing a little bit, okay? Remember, proper setup. Knuckles down, chest up, knees out. Good, drive your toe down in the ground as hard as you can. Better. Good. So the feet are my foundation, right? And so the further away from my foundation that I'm moving the weight, the more obvious any faults with my setup are gonna be. So if my stance is too narrow, or if my toes are too wide or whatever, I start trying to go overhead, it's gonna have ramifications all the way up. So the very first thing we do is make sure our feet are good to go. Good. Good. Toes into the ground. Yes, better, good. You do a little bit what Mary does. You tend to roll a little bit inside onto, so this happens a little, just a little bit. Your foot has to be stable to make your lift as solid as it can be. Okay. All right, so grab like, pretend like, you're grabbing the ground as hard as you can with your toes, all right? Again? Yes, that's what we do here. We do reps. Yeah, much better. Heel stayed where we wanted it to be. 